Repacatate liantos to so bregetes telebredosia. Masakata la bregeto shantele bregete gedeliatas. Rasete te 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 talabaradai. Masekete li garabata rabadai. Mashata la garabarabadai. Sete te 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 tarabaragadai. Masekete le garabada bashata la baradai. Nekete li garabadosa. Eriata da da la brigadosha, rabata kata la kata la brigadosha, rata kata ligadosha da ba ba ba, masaka kata ligadosha da ba ba ba, rekata kada rabada, nekete ligarabadosia, rapa kota sila kada jande le brigadosa, rapa ina kaste le brigadosi atande, rabada shata la garabada barabada. Masseke tele bregadosha, rete te di la baradaya, se tele de di la baradaya, masaka tala karabada bayat, se ke tele kereke te ke tele bregade gade lo barada. This is the season of overturning. This is the season of overturning. This is the season of overturning. Don't be weary. Don't be weak. Don't be tired. Don't be stressed out. Don't give up. Don't let that devil tell you. Have you not been shouting over turning? Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? Rasoko tarabara bada gadaya. Maseke telegre dege bregadosha. Rata kata la brege dege dele bregadosia. Rata kata la brege dege dele barabadosha. Rata kata la gadara bara bada baya. Maseke telegre bara bada bada ya. Reke teke telegara bada bara badosha. Rata Kata la kata la bara bara ya, maseke tele krega dega dere krega rasha. Lift your voice and steady your faith. Stabilize your faith. Tell the Lord, you are the God of overturning. I believe in overturning. Lord, not only shall you overturn things for me, Lord, I believe you. You shall use me to overturn things for people. You shall use me to overturn things in my generation. You shall use me. I am ready to be used. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we are waiting for you to overturn it. Whereas you are saying, are you ready for me to use you? Are you ready for me to use you? Father, every emotional, emotional instability that has not allowed me to be used, oh God. God, I begin to pray. Let it be broken right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. I am ready to be used to overturn things, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Marakata kata rabara bata kata ya. Reke shete reka daga baya. Rasa kata rabara bata kaya. Eseke te reka daga baratana. Eswata la preke teke dene karabadosha. Rakata kata rabara kata ya. Mas in every generation there is a man or a woman that God is used trying to use to overturn things in the name of Jesus everything that is in my life that is making me unavailable to be used of God to overturn situations in my life to overturn situations in my generation to overturn situation in my calling to overturn situation in my business Lord in the name of Jesus I am ready to be used of God to overturn it oh Lord I am ready to be used to overturn it oh Lord I am ready to be used to overturn it oh Lord
If God is not using you to overturn things, the devil will be using you to destroy things. I want you to say, My Father, use me to overturn all that the devil has designed against my people, against generations, against my family, against my health, against my life. Wherever you want to use me, O oh God, use me to overturn things, O oh Lord. Use me to overturn, oh Lord. I am ready to be used of the Lord right now. Use me to overturn it, oh Lord. I am ready to be used of you to overturn it. Use me to overturn it. Lord, I pray. I am ready to be used to overturn it. Use me to overturn it. Lord, I pray. This afternoon I want you to pray that the fire of the Lord will come upon your spirit that the fire of the Lord will come upon your heart uh, that you will be ready to be used of God uh, to overturn and overthrow everything the devil has set in your family everything the devil has set against your health uh, ask the Lord to baptize you with overturning anointing ask the Lord to baptize you with overturning grace ask the Lord to baptize you with overturning strength ask the Lord to overturn to anoint you with overturning fire, overturning unction in the name of Jesus Christ. Masekete brakata kata raba raba dai, masekete lekreke doska, rakata kata raba raba dai, rekete kete rekata baya, rakata kata raba raba dai. The Lord will not do everything. The Lord will not do everything. Tell the Lord, I am ready. I am ready to be used. I know that I have cried. Wherever you need to use me to overturn things in my family, to overturn things in my ministry, to overturn things in my generation. Father, stay up my spirit. Baptize me with fire. Baptize me with fire. Baptize me with fire. Baptize me with fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear me before I call the next prayer. No politician in Nigeria believed that they could be rattled by young men and women like they were rattled this year. Many politicians were shocked to their bones because there were young men and women who say, I need to be hard. I need to be used to overturn things. You can now see governorship aspirants going from street to street, house to house, shopping mall to shopping mall, canvassing for votes and talking with individuals, which is not done before in Nigerian politics. We are sitting governors lost elections incumbent senators lost elections now that is for politics in Nigeria let's come into the spirit realm until a man is ready to be used to overturn things things may remain the same God can overturn things in the spirit realm but he needs men in the earthly realm to agree with him and move with his move, talk his talks, command his commands, decree his decree, 
declare what the Lord is declaring and then enforce overturning. Notice, there are times that God overturns things in the spirit and he needed willing, available and ready men on earth, men and women, who will enforce that overturning that there might be manifestations. Now this day we are looking at a young man named Gideon whom the Lord used to overturn things in the land of Israel. Before I talk about Gideon, I want to give you a background story before I read. We are, I want to read in verse 13 of, of Judges chapter 7, verse 13. Now, Gideon was living in a time that the nation of Israel was in a fix. The nation was in a state of despair. The nation was in a state of disaster, destruction. The Midianites we are against the nation of Israel impoverishing them. They attack them from all sides. Every time they finish gathering harvest, the Midianites will come. They finish planting, the Midianites will come and destroy everything. Then if there is anyone that grows to harvest, they will come and take all the harvest. So one day, Gideon was threshing floor in wine press. Notice. They press wine in wine press and thresh floor in threshing floor. Thresh, thresh wheat in threshing floor. But Gideon, in order to hide because the wine season is different from the wheat season. So Gideon, in order to hide the wheat from the Midianite, he went to be threshing wheat in wine press. A state of confusion. A state of despondency. A state of dilapidated morality his morale was low and dilapidated a state of depression a state of distress and instead of the the Midianite to come God came from heaven to Gideon and in that state of confusion Due to the complex, complicated situation around the nation of Israel. Nobody believed that a change was possible. Nobody believed that overturning was possible. Everybody had accepted the bondage as the order of the day. Just like many people in Nigeria has accepted the old order. The oppressive men and women who feed you peanuts, who give you peanuts instead of giving you freedom. Many of us have accepted something less than the plan of God because of the prevailing situation around our environment. Now, I want you to understand practically. That Gideon was in such a state. So the angel of the Lord visited him. And greeted him. You know what the angel greeted him? Thou mighty man of valor. Thou mighty man of valor. The Lord is with thee. 
Gideon got angry with the angel. So what are you telling me? How can I be a mighty man of valor? How can? He began to question the angel. Where is God? Where is the God we are hearing his testimonies? Where is the God we are hearing his miracles? Where is the God we are hearing all that he did in the land of Egypt and at Jordan and at the promised land? Where is that God? As Gideon was asking, the angel said, I will use you to overturn the situation in the nation. Listen. God does not use you because you are qualified in the eyes of men. God uses you because there is a destiny, a kingdom destiny upon your life. So the first prayer you are going to pray this afternoon is, oh God, stay up in my heart the overturning destiny that I carry. For I did not come to see things remain the same the way they are. I did not come to just watch things and live and die without a change. I am ready to be used of God to overturn even if it is one thing in my life, in my family, in my community, in my state, in my nation, in my continent, in the world, even if it is one thing, oh God, let that overturning destiny be stirred up in my spirit. Because most of the time, the devil creates complexities and complications to cover your mind from conceiving and conceptualizing the calling of God upon your life. If the calling of God cannot be conceived in the womb of your spirit, if it cannot be conceptualized and become a tangible concept in your mind, you will not be committed and consecrate yourself to pursue it. There is an overturning calling on your life. Be stayed up in your spirit. There is somebody who will stop crying because you rose up. There is somebody who will rise up from wheelchair because you rose up. There is somebody whose blindness will disappear because you rose up. Listen to me. You will not continue to stay in a state of despondency, in a state of distress, in a state of depression. There is need for you to know there is a mighty man and woman of valor in the inside of you. Kalabakato Satanabagaya. He will use you to overturn it when you are ready. He will use you to overturn it. Says the Lord I say he will use you to overturn it. He will use you to overturn it. He will use you eh, to overturn it. Yeah. Your testimony will change a generation. The Lord will use you to overturn it. He will use you to overturn it. 
Say to the Lord, stay up the overturning destiny that I carry. Open your mouth everywhere you are. Say to the Lord, stay up the overturning destiny that I carry. Rapa kata baradada, eyeta kata rabaragadaya, maseke terebregete kada rabarada, yete kada ragada kabaratina, enta la bregete kada rabrakadosha, rapa kata kata ragada kabaya, regete kete rebregete kada ya. Come on, say to the Lord, I may look little in the eyes of men, I may look like a nobody in the estimation of people, I may look like I do not. Amount to anything. Why would you open your mouth and pray? Why would you open your mouth and pray? Why would you lift your voice and pray? Is this prayer not for you? Is this prayer not for you? Lift your voice and pray. Say to the Lord, I may look like a nobody. I may look like a confused person. I may look like I'm about to die. But I refuse to die. I refuse to die. There is an overturning destiny that I carry. There is an overturning DNA that is running in my blood. There is an overturning, overturning, overturning mandate. Aria Kadeda Kinoka Sokataraba Mereketa Katera Gaga Baka Baka Raka Baka 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 without overturning things. I will not die without changing histories. I will not die without rewriting stories. It was there are cities waiting for us there are nations waiting for us there are families waiting for us there are people young men and women we are coming to overturn their stories we are coming to overturn their lives we are coming to overturn their history Baptize me with the fire, with the anointing of overturning, with the grace of overturning, with the might of overturning, with the strength of overturning. Strengthen my knees, strengthen my heart, strengthen my mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now hear me. Precious saints of God. I want you to know. 
that there are spirits and forces and dominions and authorities whose duty is to make you look like a nobody in your own eyes just like Gideon was looking like a nobody but he was a deliverer of a nation confused a man who is meant to overturn things the first thing Gideon did was that he began to overturn him with his family he overthrew and overturned idolatry destroyed the gods the bow and the grooves in his family you are going to pray that the Lord will begin with you in your family to overturn and overthrow every oracle, every operation of darkness in your home right now. Every manifestation of darkness in your home right now. Can you pray? Can you pray and say, Father, stand me up, oh Lord, in my father's house, in my father's house, in my mother's life, in my father's life, in my lineage, oh God, everything that has been troubling every foundation every sickness every affliction i rise up by the spirit i break through with the weakness i break through the prayerlessness i break through the despondency I overthrow the altars of wickedness. I overthrow the altars of sickness. I overthrow the ancient spirits that are oppressing my family. family the Bible said Gideon rose up and blew a trumpet in all Israel say let all Israel gather and 32,000 men gathered the Lord said there are many tell those who are afraid to go back you know why overturning in a generation is not a matter of a looter it's not a matter of massive congregation. It's a matter of one man. For I sought for a man. I sought for a man. A man who will stand in the truth and establish truth in the land. A man who will stand in righteousness. Stand in integrity. Sought for a man. Say, so tell those who are afraid to go back. 22,000 went back. <laughs> you do not change a land by multitude or popular opinion you change a land by one man who is committed to a cause when God finds one man he moves may you be that one man who is ready to be used of the Lord to overturn it who is ready to be used of the Lord to overturn it? May you be that one woman who is ready to be used of the Lord to overturn it. Hey. He will use, he will use you. 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 He will use, he will use you to overturn it. To overturn it. To overturn it. Yeah. To overturn it. There's a, a history that follow your family. You will be the one to overturn it. There's a history that follow your people. You will be the one to overthrow it. So Gideon was left with 10,000. God said 10,000 is too much. Take them down to the waters. Let them drink. 
Some people went to drink, became too selfish, and we are drinking without monitoring. And some used their hand, held their weapon. We are drinking from their hand. God said, those who are drinking from their hands, that means those who are thinking about their satisfaction, yet they are watchful, scouting out for what is going on in the environment. There are many of us that wants to give them money. Truth becomes a lie to them and lie becomes truth. Once it will favor them, God cannot use you to overturn anything. If you're a man that vacillates because of your satisfaction, forget the prayer of overturning. First of all, go and overturn your character. God does not use men of low character to overturn things. You may not have the currency of charisma. But hear me. If you are deficient in character, divinity has no business of overturning anything with you. Your character is who you are. Who you are when no man is watching. Who you are when no pastor is preaching. That's who you are, your character. Deficiency in character is the reason why God cannot use many people to do anything tangible. Once you see money, you are ruined. One of the readiness of a man to be used to overturn is, Oh God, I am ready to develop impeccable incorruptible character a character that can be vouched for even by your enemies that your enemies can say as for that one I don't like him all. I hate him so much I hate her so much but hear me you can't find guile or corruption in him or her your enemy, when you have an impeccable character, your enemy gives testimony of you in the secret place. So God said, take the 300, tell the 9,700 to go home. Uh -uh. You know sometimes you have a congregation like this and God say, uh-uh. I just need you to select three people. Jesus had 12 disciples, 12 apostles. He always chose only three to go with him. He said, take this 300. With them you will bring deliverance. May you be among the 300 that God will examine their spirit, soul, and body in this generation and we find you worthy in the name of Jesus. Overturn, overturn it. 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 He will use you to overturn it. 
are you ready to be used? Then with that 300, when Gideon was ready to go and attack, one of them said, please, let's, let's go near the camp of this man and see what is happening. In chapter 7, In Judges chapter 7, verse 13, the Bible said, And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow, and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread, barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came unto a tent and smote it that he fell and he overturned it. He overturned it. Barley bread. Bread overturning tent. That the tent lay along and the fellow, verse 15, verse 14, and the fellow answered and said, this is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand had God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so that when Gideon had the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned to the host of Israel and said, arise for the Lord that delivered into your hands the host of Midian. We are going to pray this afternoon that wherever life has held you in fear in despair you will rise up on your feet and say father I arise to be used to overturn things in my generation can you open your mouth and begin to pray wherever you are right now lift your voice and begin to pray wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus tell the Lord whatever weakness and sickness and affliction and pain has kept me oh God I arise by your spirit I stay up my spirit I stay up my mind I stay up myself I arise from that place right now I arise from that place right now like Gideon oh Lord I am coming out against the tent oh Lord 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 against the tent of wickedness against the arrows of the wicked I attack their arrows right now I attack their forces right now I attack their oppressions right now I strike their altars right now I say fire come on fire against their oppressions lightning and thunder right now I shed the karekata kataya in the secret place let fire break out I arise oh lord to break everything that has been conjured against our life against our destiny against our land against our family against my wife against my children against my calling and ministry I overturn them right now I overturn them right now I overturn that very report I overturn that very situation I overturn that affliction I overturn that pain I overturn it right now I declare it overturned by the Spirit. We take our testimony. We take our miracles. We take our testimonies. Every hour of the weekend, we send it back to sender. In the name of Jesus, strike through. Break their oppressions. Scatter them with fire. Lightning and thunder. Break down their oppressions. Bring stones and fire. Overturn, overturn it. Use me to overturn it. Use me to overturn. Oh Lord. Use me to overturn. Use me to overturn. I am ready, Lord. I am ready, Lord. 
Use me to overturn a generation. Use me to overturn. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Use me to overturn. Yes. Generation will be given. May there be a space where it is written that we were men that God used to overturn things in their generation. May it be written, O God, in the annals of the history of our generation that the Father used us to overturn generations corruption, overturn wickedness, overturn evil, unrighteousness, affliction, sicknesses. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Tomorrow is the last day for this week of overturning prayer and I want to quickly announce okay I will leave it till tomorrow to be able to announce the theme and the topic that the Lord gave us for next week what we'll be praying next week but tomorrow we are still going to finally say Overturn it, Lord. Overturn, O oh Lord. Overturn. Overturn it. Tomorrow we we'll still cry out to the Lord to finally overturn. Tomorrow we are saying, Lord, overturn, 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 overturn. Let it be no more. Overturn and let it be no more. Let that which is staring us in the face be overturned and be no more forever. You will surely testify. This evening, 5 p.m., we have a wonderful time in God's presence. We are in the season of walking with God and we are going to be looking at the secret of our work with God. Join us by 5.30 online. If we are coming online today. And see how God blesses you. I want to quickly announce. That on Sunday we have our special program. Our services. Of course every Thursday. And Sunday is Kingdom Kings Church service. A time of intimate worship and intense word. We welcome you to Kingdom Kings Church International, Kilometer 2 Ado Iworoko Road. Opposite AA Rano Filling Station, beside Matrix Filling Station, Adebayo Ado Ikite. 9 a.m. every Sunday, we have all awesome times of intense worship and 
intense word, intimate worship and intense word. 9 a.m. on Thursday, 5 p.m. We normally come online 9.30 a.m. on Sunday and 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays. This week also, we are going to be having our teenagers club. We are those between the ages of 10 and 19 gathered together to be taught on Saturday 2 p.m. Thank God the election has been shifted. So we're going to have that special moment. And it's going to be an intense moment. A moment of impartation. A moment when God speaks to our young ones. Encourage them. Refuel them. Refire them. This is what we are doing. If you have your children, you want to send them to Kingdom Kings Church. You have a friend in Adwe Kitty. You want the children to join. Make sure you tell them 2 p.m. Saturday. Let your teenagers come to Kingdom Kings Church. It's going to be a wonderful time. Two important programs we are going to be having. This month, we are having the anniversary of Kingdom Kings Church in form of Reigning in Life Conference 2023. The theme of the conference is Thy Will Be Done. It's starting on 23rd to 26th of March. Thursday to Sunday, 5 p.m. 23rd to 25th and 9 a.m. on the 26th, which is Sunday. We have a special guest, Reverend Kola Dekayo Ajayi, the incoming PFN chairman in Kitty State. He will be here ministering in the power of the Spirit at Kingdom Kings Church International Kilometer 2, Adoi Woruko Road, opposite AA Rano Filling Station, beside Matrix Filling Station, Adebayo, Adoi Kitty. And finally, we shall be having in the month of March Jesus is alive crusade. Now let me tell you this crusade Jesus is alive crusade is a citywide crusade that God is leading our beloved evangelist a man of God evangelist F.A. E.B.A. to reach out to the city with healing, deliverance, miracles signs, wonders and definite manifestation of the power of Jesus. I want you to know this crusade is powered by Hope of Faith Evangelical Team and in collaboration with Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria at Doekiti Provinces. It's going to come on on 17th to 19th April. And the time is 5 p.m. The venue is Fajui Pavilion Fajui Roundabout Adoekiti. Come for healing. Come for breaking of yokes. Come for destruction of covenant. God will be setting your family free and mightily. Now, I want us to know, you see, this crusade, please, I want to appeal to you. If you are in Adoekiti and Environ, and you want to be part of this crusade, you want to pray, you want to give, you want to support all my friends from all over the world. You want to send in something to support this crusade. It is going to be entered into your record in heaven. Send in one million. We need millions to make this crusade to be as it ought to be. See, that crusade, I want you to note something. That crusade, maybe I'm going to take out time one of these days to explain to you how this crusade came to be. I'm in 100% support of our wonderful man of God, an evangelist that God is leading to do this crusade. The Lord will use him. I have seen God use him to change lives. I have seen God use him to heal. I have seen God use him to do mighty works. And I want to tell you that this crusade, if you are very far and you can support it, please go ahead and support it. Support it. Sponsor something. Cheers will be hired. 
generating set will be hired video graphics set will be hired um, sound system will be hired lighting system will be hired people will be paid security people thousands of chairs will be hired now if we are going to be paying chair 100 naira per chair and we are hiring 5000 chairs already a day for the chairs is 500,000 naira for chairs only per day I want to encourage you wherever you are listening to me from this is what the church of Jesus Christ is about it's not kingdom kings church but this is a friend a man of God that I trust I believe in his ministry I believe in his calling I want to encourage you so into it so into Jesus alive crusade and you will see Jesus coming alive in different areas of your life showing himself alive the Bible said in Acts chapter 1 verse 3 the Bible say he showed himself alive by many infallible proofs he showed himself alive precious saints of God this is where we draw the curtain remember that I am ready to be used to overturn it can you say it one more time? I am ready to be used to overturn it. God bless you in Jesus' name.